Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a ColourPop haul video. Now I am so excited because there are a bunch of new goodies in here, but I just wanted to say really quick, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join the Karen Harris makeup family. Thank you to all of you for watching all of my videos and supporting me. It means so much to me. So. Without further blabbery, let's get into what is in my ColourPop box. Okay, so most people are getting really like crazy frustrated with ColourPop because it does seem like they come up with something new every week. But there are some things I pass on and some things are so good that I can't pass on them. So here today I picked up a few oldies and a few new things that I am so, so excited about. So the first thing I see in my order are their new concealers. I got two shades because I couldn't decide which ones to get. So I got Golden 40 and Tan 50. And I honestly feel like I should have gotten number 60. I feel like that would have been a better shade match because... Once I ordered it, I was like, oh crap, I think I bought the wrong colors, but I will order a darker shade if I ever end up buying something else from them. But for now, these are the two I have, so I will test it out, but these I feel like are going to be too light, but we'll try them out. So this is interesting packaging. The plastic definitely feels a little bit cheap, but these are $6 concealers, so I'm so, so excited. So it has a really nice paddle. This is the same paddle as the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, um, that's the same applicator. So here is a nice pigmented swatch and let's try blending them. I don't know, I mean they might work because I mean obviously you blend concealer but I think it might be a little light. But these are $6 so I'm definitely, if I like them, I'm buying them for my freelance kit. So I think they blend out pretty nicely here. So those are the two shades I got. This is tan 40 and then tan 50. So if anyone is my skin tone, I would definitely go darker. It was hard to do with the swatches, like figure out which one to get, but I'm probably gonna get decent use out of these in the winter time. So if anything, if I do place another order with them, I will just get a darker shade. But you guys know for sure I'm gonna be testing this on my eyes anyway. I don't care if it looks a little lighter, it'll be fine, like whatever. Next thing I kind of panicked and bought um, were their brushes because I thought their brushes were going to be a lot more expensive than the price ended up being like 50 bucks for a whole set here and I was like yeah why not I just wanted to like test them out and stuff and I actually have the ColourPop eye brushes that they used to sell or like were available I don't know if they still are and those are actually really good with their super shock shadows so I'm excited to have a whole collection from them these are relatively affordable I think the most expensive brush is like nine bucks and it's this like powder one right here so I don't know. I'm going to test them out. I'll probably put them in a, like a get ready with me video, but I did pick those up. And then finally, I picked up two things for you guys. Um, these are definitely going into a giveaway. I picked up two of the Yes Please palettes. You guys, I have been hardcore loving on the Yes Please palette and then the Karuchi palette. The, is it called the She palette or the Her palette or something? Actually, I've been loving the face palette and the eye palette, so... Yeah, that thing is amazing, but these are really good too, and they were only 16 bucks. So I figured I would pick them up and put them in a future giveaway or use them as a gift or something, but the limit is two, and they restocked, and I was like, gimme, 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 you know? So I love these palettes. This is a great dupe for the Natasha Denona Sunset Palette. I know that Sunset Palette keeps restocking, and I know it's going to be made permanent, but if you can't afford to spend $129, Definitely pick this up and honestly you shouldn't spend $129 on an eyeshadow palette unless you're some like amazing makeup artist, which you could be, but I just think it's such a waste of money to be honest and I'm really glad I returned my palette. I definitely don't think it was worth it at all for me to keep it, but yeah, that's a great dupe. I have a video swatching all the shades side by side and showing you dupes. So if you're interested, I'm gonna pop that up in the cards for you guys. Uh, but that is it, it was a quick haul. I didn't have a lot of stuff, but it was just a lot of fun new things from ColourPop. You know, they're always coming up with new stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite ColourPop product is. I'd be so curious to find out I personally am a huge fan of their Super Shock shadows and now I'm falling in love with their pressed eyeshadows. I think 
They have amazing press shadows. So yeah, let me know. I'd be so curious to hear what your favorite product is. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.